¿Qué onda, hijos de la tiznada y hijas de la tiznada? Y todos los demás, everyone in between. Welcome back. This is Cooking with Pride. My name is Edgar. So today we're going to be making birria. Is a traditional Mexican dish from Mexico, the state of Jalisco to be exact, which is uh, where I'm from, Guadalajara, Jalisco. So it's close to home. It's one of my all-time favorite dishes. It's a slow-cooked uh, dish consisting of goat meat. But this time we're gonna be making it with beef. My grandfather has made birria for the longest time, whether it be for weddings, for quinceañeras, for baptisms. That was his signature dish. He has passed on this recipe on to me. Hopefully I do him justice. Uh, he's watching from above. So, abuelito, this one's for you. So thank you for joining me once again. Let's do this. All right, let's get started with our base. Each of these peppers um, are gonna contribute to the sauce in a very unique way. The chile California will bring in the color. The chile guajillo, I'm using it more for robust flavor. The chile ancho, which is our dried pasilla peppers. If you uh, smell it, it smells kind of sweet, kind of bitter. The chile morita, these small little peppers, they kind of remind me of chipotle peppers. Uh, so I'm using that for smoke. They smell really, really good. The chile de arbol, these small little peppers here, um, I'm using them for spice. So I don't want this to be a spicy sauce, but I do want it to have a little bit of a kick. This is uh, the base. Okay, so now that we have all our chiles, now we're gonna start to devein them. All these seeds are going to make your sauce bitter. The last thing you want is a bitter sauce. These are all done, see? All the shells, nothing but shells. All right, let's go. So for our ingredients that are we're going to be adding to the sauce, six allspice, two star anise, right here, five cloves, bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, chocolate abuelita in powder form. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your Latino friends. A tablespoon of ginger, whole, fresh ginger, not powdered ginger, eight garlic cloves, an entire onion that I've quartered and six Roma tomatoes. Alright, let's get cooking! So, because I like to keep things complicated, I'm gonna grind up my own spices instead of finding ground this, ground that. I am going to ground the cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. You can actually split it in half. Star anise. Allspice. Cumin seeds. Cloves, three bay leaves, and your chocolate abuelita. All right, here we go. It smells like Christmas. I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of avocado oil. In they go, all of them. We're just kind of giving them a little bit of color. We're kind of bringing out their oils. I'm gonna take all the chiles that I let sit in the hot water to rehydrate and all the tomatoes, onion, garlic, and I'm gonna blend it all together along with the spices that were left, okay? I'm just gonna add one quarter of the onion. So one fresh onion, not cooked onion, and then the two garlic, the ginger, bay leaves, and the spices that we mixed. Take your mixture, put it in a bowl with a strainer. Add the rest of your chiles in there. 
a one fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then the rest of your ingredients, so other onion, the rest of the garlic, and the rest of the bay leaves. And this is your adobo. The sauce that you're gonna be pouring over your meat. All done. All right, so what I'm doing right here, I'm just gonna season them uh, with salt and pepper, granulated salt, and then ground pepper. Last piece. All right, so let's give a little bit of color to our meat. That way it has another layer of flavor. I'm gonna be using avocado oil. Beef chuck roast in first. It's literally the outside. You wanna get that pan nice and hot. That way you get that color. See? End up with all of this. All right, suckers. Now we're gonna marinate this. So I take, and make sure I don't drip any of this shit. Choose your meat, and the marinade is gonna cool it down. Sorry, the music isn't in as interesting as you'd like it to be. I'm not an artist, so I don't own any of the rights to any music. I don't wanna get sued, so you're gonna have to deal with my beautiful voice. Remember, we seared this. And then we marinated it. Now it's gonna be ready to go for tomorrow, so I will see you guys all tomorrow. Buenos dias! Good morning! Who's ready to make spiria? See? So, so it's the next morning. It's been marinating for about 12, 13 hours or so. I know I say or so a lot. We're going to assemble this so we can put it in the oven for about three hours, three and a half hours. All right, what do we need? Let's get started. In my Dutch oven, I want to get a vegetable steamer in there. If you don't have one too bad, go to, you can find out pretty much any uh, like stores that sell cookware the best place is bed bath and beyond i mean not, yeah bed bath and beyond not bath and body works i always get those two mixed up bed bath and beyond home goods you can even sometimes find them at ross fill that up with water look at that look at that y'all mm -mm -mm. yum 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 we just place i want to place the meat that has the bone at the bottom first so all your short ribs provide support for the rest of the meat. I don't want to put the trocitos down there, which is the these little ones. Or not so little, but the smaller cuts. I had one more rib. Where is it? Where it is. Found the other rib. I provide you with everything you need to make this birria. So it better come out bomb if you make it. Don't fuck it up. Let's see, I need a spatula. And look at all this. I'm a Diana this, meaning my partner's mom. When she cooks, she doesn't like to leave anything behind. And she scrapes every single little bit out of the bowl. So I am doing the same. So, that's why I say, I'm Diana in it. Love you, Diana. Shoot, make some tortillas right now. Bam. For this. This is how my grandma used to do it. But I'm not making tortillas. But I will. Because this is going to be bomb with some homemade tortillas. There's nothing like homemade tortilla, birria, tacos. So you make two big masa snakes. You want to put them on top of your pot like so that way you create a seal and you kind of make your own pressure cooker i have a pressure cooker but mexicans don't use pressure cookers it's like against our culture take pride in the entire process of cooking a meal it's fun too especially in mexico 
you get to dig up holes, make an actual oven for this. This is actually cooked in a pit. See? Not that hard. It's not hard at all. You can even have your kids help you out with this, pass down a recipe, and we just seal it. And then we put this in the oven, 350 degrees for three and a half hours. All right, everyone. The time has come. I don't know how to open this, so you're on your own when it comes to this shit like that. No, I'm kidding. You just put a knife through a little slit. And you just lift. Look at this. Look at this. This falls right off the bone. Wow. Wow. I'm being really careful not to burn my fucking cheek. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait for you guys to make this. Look at this. Look at this. It's so tender. It's literally fall off the bone. I have here cilantro. Look at this. It's so bomb. So, so bomb. Radish. Mexican flag, the green, the white, and the red going on, and of course, we can't forget about our chili. Just a little because that shit's hot. And a little squeeze of lime. All I need is a beer. I don't have any. I wish I had some homemade tortillas to go with this. That would be the what is it, the icing on the cake, or the cherry on the cake, or the cherry on top, whatever the fuck. Homemade tortillas would be bomb. And yes, I also made a homemade fucking tortillas. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit. Oh, it's burning me. to watch me eat. Hey. Yeah. You're not making a mess, you're not doing it right. Mm. 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 Yes, it's that good. Thank you, Grandpa, for this recipe. I love you. Thank you for watching. This is Cocinando con Orgullo, Cooking with Pride. And Bon Appetito, Provecho. Um, enjoy please let me know what you think about my recipe have you tried it mm. bye everyone thank you for watching love you guys